That's great. Uh, so for me, um, I actually, I took over China Mama when I was 26 years old. And that time, my entire staff was older than me. Mm. And it was not easy to gain their respect. So I had to get their support and then for the, ch for the changes that we were making. Uh, and then one of the biggest obstacles occurred last year, March. Uh, we experienced a fire, fire incidents in our original location. So that location right now is still uh, currently closed under renovation. Uh, after the fire, we have to adapt and uh, identify it quickly. Uh, and then we have to decide to you know, open a new location to provide to our uh, employee and also to our customers. And that time was super stressful because I have to make lots of decisions in a short time period. So we were able to, no, we have to open China Mama Express in two months after the fire. And then luckily we were able to open our uh, primary location right now in Shanghai Plaza after three months of the fire. Mm -hmm. So that accident actually taught me the value of viewing challenges as a, as a way to grow. Because um, without the fire, I probably will never move so quickly because by the end of this year we're gonna have five different locations in las vegas yeah. <laughs> thank you that's the biggest ob obstacle so far for me yeah thank you you know <clears throat> i wrote this several years ago that out of your greatest challenge comes your ba <clears throat> your greatest talent mm. my greatest challenge was that i didn't speak any english and how I make a living <laughs> talking to people. What is it that is in your heart that is so powerful that you believe so much about that becomes the driving force that moves you forward? In 2013, I had a massive heart attack mm. post being diagnosed with cancer. Mm -hmm. When I woke up from surgery, the doctor comes to me and says, how are you doing? I said, how do you think I'm doing? I just had a heart attack. <laughs> He goes, I said, can you give me a piece of paper and a pen? And he goes, are you writing your will? And I said, doctor, I'm not dead yet. So I'm not done yet. So I wrote this. Don't let the circumstances define you or confine you. Make them refine you. This is refinement. Every time you decide that I'm going to go and find more knowledge, more skills, more talents, you know what? Sharpen myself. That's refinement. Don't let the circumstances define who you are. Let the way you live your life do that. You will find challenges and there will be struggles. But when you surround with people, like the people in this room, they'll lift you up. So don't let those things in life. Every single one of us have experienced tragedy, pain, and sorrow. That's our humanity. That's who we are. But our most important goal for every single one of us is happiness and joy and fulfillment. How many of you want to be happy? How many of you want to be fulfilled? There you go. What, what we have in common brought us together. Our differences must keep us together. Because when I, my knowledge stops, his journey begins when I said, Morris, I, I need your guidance. Mm. Stephen, I need your guidance. Her and I had the most amazing conversation earlier today, and we just got into this moment of conversation, and she just shared a little bit about her ethnic background. And, and it was just, we just had a moment before we started, right? And, and you know, and believe it or not, she was actually praying for me. We're standing there, and I asked her to do that, and I'm praying for her.